Hey, uh, I'm working with a number of software teams uh, which develop software and they have uh, quite professional programmers there and architects. Over and over again, we are having the same discussion with them and I supervise them. So I do not participate in the development of the code there, but I look at what's going on there and I more or less control uh, the things that are happening there. And um, what I see is happening there is that they, they develop the code, they write the code, they they get the product more or less ready, they, they make the functionality, but they do not configure continuous integration, they don't configure release pipeline, they don't uh, automate unit tests, they don't uh, use static analyzers, they don't do anything which is, which is in my opinion, uh, par is part of the build pipeline, the important parts of the build pipeline. They just have the source code, they use uh, IDE where they develop that, they run unit tests when they have them inside the IDE, but they don't package it all together. And when I tell them that this is important, the same answer comes back to me over and over again. They say, it's not important, we're gonna do it later because what's important now is to make the functionality, it's important to make the features, to make sure the software works. When we get the product, when the product is stable, then we will spend some time and uh, do these things, we'll automate everything and we package and deliver and everything, uh, and everything will be ready. And uh, sometimes they even give me the metaphor like this, they say, uh, we're building a house, so it's too early to paint the walls the walls. We put the foundation there, we are uh, we're making the concrete structure of the house, So, and you are telling us to, uh, to put the picture on the wall. It's too early for that. And I disagree with that, as you can probably imagine. So I believe that this is a strong and bad misconception of what is uh, the foundation of the house and what is painting the walls. So I believe that any project has to start with the build pipeline. And configuring build pipeline should be the first step in any project. Maybe, okay, maybe the second step. So probably the first step should be the making the readme file. And in the readme file, you explain what the project is about, how it's going to work. So you basically draw the concept and you show it to your friends. And then when you understand the concept, then you start with the build pipeline. You think about where are going to be unit tests placed, what's going to be the, the package manager, what's going to be the build manager, how we're going to deliver to to production. So you, you, you put it all together and this is the foundation. And then you start building the walls and then you paint the walls. So the functionality and the features, these things are the decoration of the house. But the foundation of the house is actually the, the, the framework. I mean, what's the right name for that? A framework or the, the scaffolding for, uh, for, your, for your product. So turning it upside down and thinking that build pipeline will be delivered later is a mistake. Why? Uh, well, because it will be very difficult to make it right when the product is ready. When you have a lot of source code files, it will be too late to use static analyzer because you have 10,000 lines of code and then you start using the, the analyzer, the code, the style checker, and you will have, I don't know how many, a thousand complaints, which you will have no time to fix and there will be no pleasure in fixing that. As we discussed before, static analysis and static analyzers are the greatest teachers for us. They tell us how to develop software better. So if you invite those teachers when the project is ready, then it's too late, so they're not going to teach you anything. The build pipeline, the, the, the automated build making and, 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 and the packaging is also a great teacher for you. It tells you where are the mistakes and this stops you at the, at the right places. So it makes your development incremental. It makes your development uh, self-validated at, at multiple points in time. If you don't have that, if you only introduce this when everything is ready, then again, you lose a great teacher. You lose a great control instrument, which, which would help you over the entire life cycle of your, of your development. If you don't make your unit tests automated and you use them sporadically sometimes when you, when you need them in the IDE, you need this test, you run it, you need another test, you run another test, but you never run them together. You never control the code coverage of your, of your, of your product. You never know your code, pro, code coverage. So you delay that until later. Then you, you lose a lot of instruments, which you would have otherwise, if you, if you would start with a build pipeline. I believe this approach is quite immature and uh, I mean the approach when, when we think that uh, the product comes first, the functionality comes first and the build pipeline, the automation comes after that. That's, I believe, is wrong. So I hope you don't do that. If you do, then think again. When you start a new project, start with the build pipeline. Everything else 
goes after that. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.